Guys, how we doing? And welcome to Good Works Tractors. Mowing season is upon us, even though if you look really close, it's actually flurrying right now in Michigan. However, I've mowed the lawn already and mowing is happening all over the country. So if we're doing it in Michigan, most likely you are too. And if you've mowed for any period of time, you know that mower decks have a way of getting out of level and that can be very frustrating when you're trying to work really hard to get a nice lawn. So in today's video, we're gonna go over five common reasons why you may be getting an uneven cut with your mower deck. So stick around. Guys, I am proud to be sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers. You know, I'm big on safety and Bora can help with that. If you're looking to solve your stability issues side to side check out wheel spacers from Bora you can get them in aluminum you can get them in steel as well a lot of options a lot of thicknesses but they custom make them they're wheel centric to fit your hub there's a link down below go right to their website to place an order Bora wheel spacers hey so if you enjoyed this video I would love to get a thumbs up from you hit that subscribe button right underneath the video and read to the description as well all sorts of helpful links down there or head on over to goodworkstractors.com So not to confuse you, you know, we're talking about how to keep your mower deck level. However, counterintuitive to all of that, there is one way in which your mower deck needs to be out of level. Again, it's by design, but I'm gonna tell you about that one later on. So the first reason you may have an uneven cut with your mower deck is actually nothing to do with the deck itself, but these gauge wheels that are on the front and the back on both sides of your deck. So while there are certain mowers out there that actually will ride along on these gauge wheels, so right on the ground as you're mowing along, the majority of them, including your John Deere's, are not designed to do so. In fact, you want to have approximately a 3 8 inch gap between the bottom of your wheel and the ground. So that's one of the reasons you have adjustable uh, positions here in your caster stem is to allow, based on the different cutting height, where this is gonna be positioned differently, you can adjust then your, your gauge wheels here to have a consistent amount of gap between the bottom of it and the ground. So then you may ask, what is the purpose of these gauge wheels? And it is actually to prevent scalping from occurring. So most of us are gonna have a bit of an uneven lawn and as you're going across it and kind of bouncing around a little bit, the design is for these gauge wheels to make contact with the ground instead of the mower deck and the blades itself. That's gonna prevent that scalping from occurring and give you a better cut overall. Another very common reason for why mower decks are mowing unevenly, again, really doesn't have anything to do with the mower deck itself. Rather, it's gonna be those four wheels, one on each corner there. If they are at different tire pressures from side to side, that is gonna cause an issue and it's very, very common. So make sure you check that out. Get yourself a tire gauge. It doesn't have to be a fancy one like this, but just something simple to keep in your toolbox on your machine or a little cubby that way you can accurately check side to side pressures and besides just for mowing for us guys that have front end loaders on our tractors that is something that the front tires in particular are going to take a lot of abuse and you're going to see big fluctuations that can occur or slow leaks from being punctured or maybe a bead starting to lose its seal there's a lot of different reasons so it's a very common occurrence and you might not notice it just staring at it but you can have as much as a 5 or 10 psi change from tire to tire i see it happen all the time here with tractors coming into the shop Okay, so we're taking a look at the underside of the mower deck that's on my 1025R. Maybe I could use a cleaning on it, I don't know. But uh, I wanna talk about one of the other culprits that is actually related to the mower deck itself, and that's gonna be to do with the, the mower deck blades. So if you don't seat one of these properly when you go ahead and reattach it and bolt it on, that is gonna cause a problem if you're having scalping or uneven issues somewhere in the middle of the mower deck. However, that's not the only way that you could have an uneven cut. If you do end up hitting a rock or a stump or some other protrusion that you didn't mean to, it was just a complete accident, that could actually bend a mower blade and cause an uneven cut as well. Or you could even potentially damage or tweak the spindle in the housing that's everything, everything going on up here or even into the deck and put that all out of whack. So if you run into a situation when you're having one of your mower blades start to mow unevenly, go with the simplest possible solution first and check your blades and then move your way to the more complex. So of course, one of the most common occurrences and reasons for your mower deck being out of level is going to be with the adjustment side to side that's typically on the tractor portion, those brackets that hang down. You're gonna have threaded brackets of some kind. Sometimes you'll be able to, uh, to loosen them and adjust with a wrench. Sometimes they'll have a special tool like the X7 series garden tractors, for example. But regardless, that's the most common reason for those decks being out of level left to right. But there's some other reasons that could also contribute to an uneven cut with your mower deck. So one of the gradual ways that that out of level cut can occur is if you are stepping on your mower deck. Most of these decks are not designed to be stepped on. A lot of them will say, no step and have a little picture or a diagram on there but you do not want to step on them and you think well hey they've got drive over decks they have these ramps aren't they built to be stepped on but the idea behind the drive over ramp is for your entire deck to be on the ground and then this is just simply your wheels going 
up and over and, and off the other side, but the entire perimeter of the mower deck itself is what's taking all of that weight, not just the hanging brackets there where your mower deck is suspended down. So a lot of larger tractors do have a built-in step that comes along with them, which is really nice and handy. Unfortunately, the one series from John Deere does not include a step. So Muds Customs can help you out with not only a step, but also a grab handle uh, for the other side of the tractor if you want one as well, but you do not want to step on that mower deck. And I know a lot of you guys out there really struggle to even get from the ground all the way up to a deck like this. So having a little step or a little drop down that knocks off four, six, eight inches off of that height that you have to raise your leg can really help out right there. But check it out, Muds Customs, you get 5% off your order with code GWT. Another common reason why your entire deck may be out of level is if you have a boot on there for a material collection or a bagging system attached. And I realized this one in full effect last fall when I had this attached. I thought I had everything leveled out correctly, but it is a little bit of trial and error. And, you know, as soon as I took a few passes, I realized I was really scalping still because the additional weight of the boot on this side was just throwing things off. And so that is when those adjustment bars or the rods that are on your tractor really come into play. So you have to raise one side up, potentially lower another side down a little bit to get everything even out. It's not something you want to rush through. You just have to get your tape out or one of those measuring tools that John Deere or the other manufacturers make as well to make sure everything is square and reset you're going to leave this on all fall or maybe even through the spring as well some of us mow with these boots on there all year long as well so it's something important you want to make sure you spend the time and do it right another common reason you may have an uneven mow is actually nothing to do with your mower deck itself it could just be your lawn or the piece of ground that you're mowing. It doesn't take much to throw things out of whack and really give a yucky, nasty appearance. The most typical culprit for that reason is really not the ground being unlevel. I mean, you have to work with the conditions that you have. It's typically the fact that you're mowing too short. And so you're, you're scalping it almost just unintentionally. The best thing you can do is mow at a higher height of cut. So you may want to get it nice and short just to avoid having to mow as often. However, if you want to have a healthier looking lawn with a better appearance, mow it a little bit higher. Okay, now I had mentioned earlier there is one way in which you want your mower deck to actually be out of level, and that's going to be front to back. You always want, it's by design, the front of your mower deck to be about an eighth of an inch lower than the back of your mower deck. Now, while I'm not sure, it does not say in the manuals the reasoning behind that, it's clearly the way that John Deere and many other manufacturers designed these mower decks to work most efficiently, perhaps for the best mowing experience, the best vacuum, the best way to make those blades stand up on end for a clean cut, but that is what you want. You want both sides of the front of the mower deck to be about an eighth of an inch lower than the back side. And in fact, it specifically says never let the front of the mower deck be higher than the back of the mower deck. Okay, so there you have it, folks. Hopefully that solves the problem for you that you're experiencing or maybe helps you eliminate that problem altogether from ever happening. And I do want to mention, if you are looking for a bagger system for your tractor, you might have seen that, that boot that was on the mower deck that I showed you from Protero. That's a PTO-driven bagger system dumped from the seat so you never have to get off the operator station. Very efficient. If you want more information on that system, there's going to be a link down below. Take you right to Protero's website. The best part about it, you can save 5% using code GWT. If you found this video helpful, I would love to get a thumbs up from you. Hit that subscribe button right down below. Read the description underneath the video or head on over to goodworkstractors.com. Thanks again for stopping by and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.